Yeah. Well, my name, I go by AC. Uh, Codner is my last name. My real name is Anna Claire. But uh, I, in college, I cut it short to AC. And that seems to uh, work better. Uh, it's quick and easy. And, and uh, I work, uh, you know, at St. Francis in the pharmacy uh, department. Um, and this is my last day there. I'm uh, retiring. Uh, sort of, going on disability, and uh, uh, so I think my pharmacy career is probably coming to an end. We don't really know for sure, but at least this chapter of the career is closing. Oh, I guess I started out as a science teacher. I fell in love with chemistry in high school, and so I became a chemistry teacher and taught uh, science for uh, 15 years, actually. And uh, then, oh, just decided I was kind of bored and needed something else to do. And <laughs> so I, uh, I, I quit my job and went to pharmacy school. Oh, I was uh, about 37, <laughs> yeah, when I went to pharmacy school. I, I actually uh, got my pharmacy uh, degree, the registration, the license, actually, just a month before my 40th birthday. There, several people have asked me if I'm going to take big trips or what am I going to do with my retirement. And I definitely have no plans. <laughs> I just don't really know. Uh, well, uh, I have a muscle disease called dermatomyositis. It's a, a pretty strange disease. There's only about one in every 100,000 people that have it. Uh, and uh, it is a degenerative muscle disease um, where your, your body attacks its own muscles, and so you gradually become weaker. And um, the, there's no cure <laughs> for the disease, uh, and it, it varies from person to person as to how severe it is. I think I've had a pretty mild case because I've had it for over 30 years, and just have gradually become weaker. Uh, it's treated usually with steroids uh, or drugs that suppress the immune system. And uh, so part of the problem with, the, with it then is dealing with the side effects from those drugs. Mm -hmm. uh, but uh, it has made it more difficult for me to do the job. And so I kind of to the feel to the point where I feel it's necessary for me to to stop working and so I'm going on disability short-term disability and with the intent of going on long term after the three months I, I don't want it to consume my life I want to be useful and productive and and make a different positive difference and not not a negative uh, with the disease. Enabled or disabled, what is it to be? Not going to work, will that be a blessing to me? Oh, it sounds so delightful to have a life set free, leaving behind the daily grind. Will that be a blessing for me? There is joy in working, the joy of completing a task, knowing that you've done your best with all that you've been asked. And then there are the friendships developed created and nurtured at work, the sharing and caring that goes on is one of work's great perks. But if I am disabled and the job's too much for me, I must leave and move on. Enabled I shall be. Will be able to do whatever I want, no constraints upon my time, able to follow the Lord as he leads. And that ends this little rhyme, and it's cake time. <laughs> <laughs>